it is oh, it is time for another played lately and lately I have played cozy games and when we say cozy games I suppose we mean life simulators games that are inherently cozy and these titles that I'm gonna talk about in this video they are cozy so after making that Atelier tier list video that I made last on my channel, thank you guys for watching that. That was so fun to make. After making that video, guess what I did? I restarted Lulua, but more importantly, I restarted Lydia and Suelle. And I haven't played through Lydia and Suelle in so many years. It was probably 2019 last time I played it. Going back to it, starting fresh, starting all over again, there were so many things that I had forgotten in the story. And I had forgotten a ton of the smaller stories regarding all of the characters in the game. And it was almost like the game was a new game uh, now all over again after a few years. That can happen sometimes when you go back to a game that you haven't played in years, like this one. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like it is better than I remember. And I remember it being really good. But now I'm having such a fun time playing this again, where you play these two girls, you can control either one of them. And I know I have been talking about this game a lot on my channel, but now I'm sort of... <laughs> surprising myself all over again with actually properly going into it and do it all from start to finish all over again and actually now i would put this uh game in s tier <laughs> I just had forgotten a lot and I think now, going back to it, that it is a really well-balanced game. Still recommend that. Anyways, uh, that was just a quick side note. Uh, I have played recently a game that's called Alba. I've had it on my wish list for a very long time and now I had my birthday and my sister bought an eShop card from my store actually, eShagaming.com. I forget mentioning that I have a store where you can purchase Nintendo eShop credits cards and right now I think I have a discount code actually. I'm gonna have that in the pinned comment down below if I have currently a discount code. You support my channel if you purchase your eShop cards on there, just so you know. <laughs> and Anyways, I got uh, a eShop card from my sister, a pretty big one actually. So I bought a lot of games that I had on my wish list and like now is the time. So Alba was one of them and it is a game where you play a girl taking pictures of a wildlife on an island. The graphics are sort of simple but still they work. It is very relaxing and it's just such a chill game. There's nothing that's going to stress you out with this game. There are NPCs and it's very wholesome and the island has several regions with animals and bird species that you can take pictures of so it's sort of like you are collecting the species that are living on the island into your little book. That's the game. It wasn't expensive, bought it on sale though. It's a small game, not the biggest game in the world, but it is absolutely worth having a look at. Cute, worth mentioning. Now another game that I have just started and I also bought this with the eShop card. <laughs> No Place Like Home, it's called. Uh, SwitchUp did a big review, I watched that, and they got further into the game than I did. <laughs> I have just started it, so actually I have no opinion so far, except for it is really satisfying to clean up your farm in the beginning hours of the game. After that, however, I lost interest sort of thing, but I will play it a bit more, actually, because I heard from some people that the further you get into the game, the more satisfying and good it's gonna be, but I don't know. Anya, yeah, what do you think of No Place Like Home? Also, like a life sim crafting, building, relaxing game these days. I actually played it on PC a year ago, I want to say. But now it has been ported to the Switch. Worth having a look at also. But guys, most of all, for the past weeks, I have been playing a game that was released months ago. But it went by me, just like... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't pick it up back in the day. Back in the day. I mean a few weeks months ago. But I'm talking about wildflowers and it's spelled like wilde flowers. And I do follow a few YouTubers that has been talking about this game. But why haven't I picked it up until now? 
Anyways, I picked it up and I am not regretting my choices in life. Uh, I've been playing that for the past couple of weeks. It is a full-on life simulator where you play as Tara, a girl, coming from the city, moving in with her old grandma to this small island community type of place to help her out with the farm, but also to escape the city life because she lost her job, her fiancé left her and the lease on the apartment went out. Something like that. Tragic backstory anyways. So she moved in with her grandma to help her out because she's old and she's a widow. Too many folks take the easy way out these days. Now Wildflowers, it plays just like Stardew Valley, Story of Seasons and or any other traditional life simulator where as you do all of the things that you are familiar with, such as tending to your farm, growing crops, going fishing, going mining, getting to know the townspeople, giving them gifts, increasing their friendship level with you, getting to know their stories, walk around, there is a day and night cycle, the whole shebang. And I have really grown to enjoy and like the residents of this island so far. I feel like I've gotten to know most of them now. They are so diverse and they are so unique. But maybe most of all, they're all so well voice acted that I feel a stronger connection to these residents in this game in particular because of the strong voice acting. And you know what? Every single line in this game is voice acted. That makes it so much more believable believable what they're saying and I feel like everyone has such a unique storyline every single one of them and maybe what makes wildflowers different from most other farming sims or life simulators that I can think of is that the people's stories they touch in on such dark themes and this put me so off we don't often see this happening in life simulators or cozy games I feel like but there are tragic themes to these stories which makes sense and is both more believable believable and realistic. And the themes of the story, they can be sort of like becoming a widow at a young age. Stories about not feeling like you fit in. Stories like life turning out not the way that you thought it would. Cancer, among other things. Finding dating to be difficult. These topics that they're talking about and experiencing and telling me about and you know, it's unique. It's like the topics of conversation, they are on a much deeper level than I'm used to. Like for example, stories of seasons where every single villager just said oh the weather is nice there's just much more depth in the storylines in the wildflowers but my mind's as sharp as a mm, i yeah, sharp as a attack don't interrupt other than that, in this game, you chop down trees, you shop for seeds, you do cooking, you create workstations. You can actually do a tiny bit of synthesis. Oh my god. It is a game that is very easy to understand. I would recommend this game to anyone that likes games in this genre. Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, the Koti genre, if that is a genre. And I just highly recommend the wildflowers so far. There are lots of things to do and collect, lots of side quests, and there is even achievements in this game. And like I said, it has a day and night cycle and weekdays, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can also find a romantic partner, but I don't like any of the options that I have as a romantic partner. I don't like any of the candidates. You know what, the NPC that I do like, he's taken. <laughs> And it's just the best uh, NPC in the entire village. He's taken. But I heard that their relationship is not doing well. You see, there's so much gossip in this town also. The villagers are talking gossip and you're talking shit about each other all the time. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I am living in this place, actually. It's really like drawing you in. There is a stamina bar that decreases when you do things like mining and working the farm and it decreases rather fast. I mean, if you're planning on going into the mine and do a solid amount of mining, I recommend that you bring with you some food, some stamina recovering food, or else you'll get nowhere. I found a tiny bit of performance issues, uh, but that was only when it was raining. Otherwise, I think the game performs good and looks good and looks sharp for the most part. You can have your day speed at relaxed, normal and challenging. And you know, sometimes you need to speed up the day because uh, later in the game or midway in the game with the main story anyway, there is a place at night where you have to wait until it is nighttime to do some questing and stuff. So then I speed up my 
my day speed to challenging and if I'm going into the mine and I have a plan for the day I put it down to relaxed so that I don't feel like I am in a rush. I am enjoying my time in this game so much. I am immersed and I feel like I am losing track of real time and real life when I'm playing Wildflowers and this game has impressed me. I wish there were character customization that I could customize my main character but you are playing as Tara. This is the character. It's sort of like The Witcher. You're playing as Tara. There is no character customization unfortunately. Which I would prefer to be honest with you. I wish also that it was possible to enter people's homes which you cannot do. Not as far as I know. You can just walk up to the door and it's closed. Now, I can see myself sinking a ton of hours into Wildflowers. I already have. <laughs> but I can see myself playing this way more. And this is the type of game where you could easily crack 100 hours, I feel like. Now, I want to know what you have been playing lately on your Switch. And I want to know what you think of Wildflowers. Because I just recently now, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> discovered it. And I'm having such a fun time. I feel like... Not enough people are talking about this game, so I thought I would bring it to your attention also. I recommend it, and I definitely recommend it if you're into the aforementioned games like Sword of Valley and Story of Seasons, maybe even Rune Factory, but there are no fighting in this game anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, join the Discord, and uh, listen to this disc. It's uh, there, I think. And I will see you later. <laughs> There's a vlog coming pretty soon, so stay tuned. I think it's because they're Dutch. Oh, is Lena Dutch? Um, no, Norwegian, but that's kind of close, right? Not even remotely. <laughs> You're funny.